Those of you who watch this channel will know that I'm a big fan of Motorola radios. I find them just really quite competent. I love the way they're built and uh, they just seem to always sound nice and uh, work really well. So I've picked up a couple of these uh, Motorola DP1400s and this is typically a business radio, right? I mean, you don't usually get kind of range tests and stuff carried out on these because of the fact that if you're a business, you know, you'll figure out whether or not they will perform to spec and perform what you do do what you want them to do before you buy them uh, but uh, in this case I'm just going to play around with them because that's what I that's what I want to do I want to just have a play around with them and see how well I'll do a different video on how well how, how good they sound but I'm going to use um, DMR on these so I guess that's moto, moto turbo uh, but I'm going to use DMR for this range test and um, I'm going, I've kind of mapped out 10 points each 100 meters further away from the receiver. And I'm going to just try it out. The receiver's not going to be in any particularly sort of beneficial position. It's just going to be another radio. Again, normally with a business, you're going to either be using a repeater or you'll know that all your radios can talk to each other within the size of your site. But for me, I'm just going to have the radio inside and it's going to be using one of these antennas, so a whip antenna rather than a stubby antenna, which apparently is better for reception, but I can't imagine the difference is that great, really. So yeah, 10 different locations, 100 meters further away each time. Let's see how well it performs. This is the first test. Uh, this is from the same location as the transmitter, so I won't call this number one, I'll call this test number zero. I'll be using the transmitter on full power, which is 4 watts for UHF on the DP400, or 5 watts on VHF. I'm using UHF today, so that'll be a 4 watts transmission power out. So this is a test zero on the DP1400 urban range test. Location one, 100 meters, uh, top of Charlie. Uh, I guess the idea here is just to see how well it does across an initial 1,000. Location two, 200 meters, uh, directly between hotel and uh, uniform Charlie. Location three, 300, directly between Lima and uh, Uniform Charlie. Location 4, up, uh, up at Oscar, at uh, 400 metres. Hopefully this is OK. Didn't get a tone on the initial uh, transmission there, so uh, maybe not. Location 5, 500 metres-ish. I'm not sure I've got this one quite right, actually. Um, between Foxtrot and Top of Hotel. I think, something like that. Anyway, 500. Location 6, top of hotel, uh, across from Lima. 6 and 600. Location 7 at 700, um, Romeo Alpha, uh, towards um, Whiskey Papa. 700 metres. Location 8 at 800, uh, two thirds of the way between uh, Whiskey Papa and Bravo. Uh, clearly, this is a built up area, but it's not got a tower box around or anything like that. Uh, but it is still, you know, it's certainly not a uh, line of sight situation. Location 9 and 900. First stage of um, uh, between um, Delta and November. 900, uh, hopefully, copy. And finally, location at 1000, at uh, November. Just a receipt of the um, parcel, so um, we'll call that it and uh, see how we did on the, uh, on the recording. So, I know what some of you might be thinking, and as I mentioned in the text at the start of the uh, transmissions there, 
A thousand metres doesn't really seem that much for a radio of this type, but it is, really, if you think about what kind of site you could cover with a 1,000 metre radius. And you have to remember that this is in a built-up area, so this is surrounded by houses, and uh, if you notice on the last elevation pr profile there, we don't even have the lay of the land in our favour, i.e. we're kind of going across the top of a hill. Uh, so it's not line of sight, and it's also just radio to radio. So radios are, the antennas on radios, they're just not, not optimized in the same way that a rooftop antenna is or a repeater equipment would be. So if you're using this, if, you, you know, if you're looking to use this in a business, then the chances are you're going to be using a repeater of some kind if, you, if you're looking across, you know, looking to cover a city or across a bigger site. However, the fact that you can comfortably, by the look of things, there was a, were a few glitches on the uh, 1,000 metre test. The final location is at 1,000, that's uh, November. Just a reading receipt of the um, parcel. But if you say, you know, you can comfortably cover 1,000 metres, handset to handset, then I think that covers a massive amount of needs. Even if you had... I don't know, farmland or something, that would be much, much more forgiving when it came to uh, transmission distances of this kind. With an urban test like this, I think it gives a really good indication of how far you can comfortably use these handsets uh, from one to another. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks very much for watching.